Hi everyone, it's me, Digigoon Anthony in the flesh. Yep, I'm coming to you guys IRL for this video here today. And the um, only reason I'm doing that is because I'm not on my normal computer. I came home for the week, uh, for the week and um, not stuck here, but I just decided to stay here for the week for spring break. Um, I'm having lots of fun. I hope you guys are having fun too. Thank you all, really, from the bottom of my heart for the support an outpouring of love we've been getting on the channel. The likes, the comments, the subscriptions, everything is really piling up really fast and it's kind of overwhelming, but keep it going, I love it. Um, what's next for the channel? I wanna maybe edit a lot more videos. I have a couple more scripts I have planned out. Maybe I'll introduce some new content. Um, but today, we'll focus on today right now, we're gonna be looking at the 2022 Digimon Guidebook. Now I don't have the 2023 version, but this one's just as good, I think. I hope. I haven't seen the 2022, uh, 2023 one yet. Uh, as you can tell, this video is not scripted at all. Just going right off the dome. And um, we're going to be looking at it in a minute. But just keep doing what you're doing. Like the video, comment, subscribe, hit the bell. We're almost at 100 subs and it is actually insane. Thank you guys so much for everything you've been doing. And just thank you for everything. Alright, let's get to the video. Okay, all right, so this camera setup is a little annoying, so we're just going to try to go with the flow. Right here, we have the Digimon 2022 guidebook. Um, I don't know what that QR code is for, but I'm going to try to read everything for you guys and just really um, show off the whole book, I guess. Uh, hope you enjoy while I read. I'm not the best reader, but I, I like reading. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to try to do this all in one take because I don't want to keep reading this book for like fucking 20 minutes. Um, but here we have the Digimon 2022 guidebook. As you can see here, we have Agumon and uh, Gamamon right here. Some very beautiful artwork here. It's for the 25th anniversary of Digimon and I guess um, V-Jump. It's a V-Jump special edition as you can see. Um, at the bottom we see... Um, check out the Digimon web for the latest information. I'm assuming this is a link to the Digimon web. Uh, I actually use that to get some art for our videos here. Let's go right into the first page We see a big nice spread of um, the Agumon line all the way up to Wargreymon very beautiful looking art um, I'm just gonna read them from here, and then we'll take a deeper dive into the pictures uh, Digital monsters there are creatures that live on the web. We call them digital monsters Digivolutions let them change forms and power up Creatures with powerful fighting instincts. They're, bolt, they're born from digi eggs and leave one behind when they die. They feed on programs and data growing and digivolving after winning battles. When their time's up, they leave behind a digi egg. And then it goes through every single form of Agumon and, um, and uh, Koromon and such, uh, telling you what the different forms are. So we have an in-training one with, um, I think that's... I forget the fucking name. Butamon, maybe? Then we got Koromon for in-training two. Um, for in-training one, I forgot to mention, just born, time to get growing. They're just little babbies. They can't do anything. In-training two, they can't fight, but instincts are starting to kick in. So kind of like a, like a toddler. Uh, rookie, still growing. This is when they're kind of, uh, they have a brain, more, more or less. Uh, champion, fully formed with strength and smarts. And then we get to ultimate here. Um, I don't know if the glare is any bad, but uh, more growth, more power, and then we get to uh, mega level, which says uh, attained, attained after shattering all limits. So they're a limit breaker. And then down here we see the three different attributes uh, of Digimon. We have um, we have Devimon that's virus, vaccine, Ikakumon, and Togemon as data. Uh, and you'll see it's like a rock paper scissors type thing where um, data beats vaccine, vaccine beats virus, and virus beats data. And on the right here, we also have uh, Digi Island or Digital Island, the digital world, really. Um, uh, it says, Where the Digimon roam, the digital world, the vast expanse is home to yet unknown species of Digimon. So maybe there's even more Digimon to come. I know since this, a lot of Digimon 
have been published and we've seen a lot more come out. But let's go to the next page. Oh, it's a big ad for the VPets and stuff. So if you don't know, but the VPets are really popular with a lot of people. I have like two of them and then I even have a vital bracelet, which maybe I'll make some videos on. It's um, pretty fun. Um, but let's take a look at these VPets. There's so much to explore in the Digimon world. It all started here, 1997, and Digital Monster, Raisin Battle Digimon on the 16x16 LCD display. And then we got to 1998, right over here, and we got Digimon Pendulum. Shake the Digivice to train up Digimon. Let me read that again. Shake the Digivice to train up Digimon and battle your friends. And then finally in 2021, we got the Vital Bracelet. Wear it to link with your Digimon who digivolve based on your physical activity. Features an improved color and LCD display. The VB is really fun to use and it's really great for just fitness tracking overall. And then here we have a little look at some of the manga, the animes, and even some of the games. Maybe I'll show you guys some of those as well. So for the manga, we have uh, Digimon Adventures V-Tamer 01. I'm thinking about reviewing this, so let me know in the comments if you guys want to go ahead and see those types of videos. I've never read it. It seems really, really cool. Uh, as you can see by the art, it's not focusing, but you can see it's pretty sick. Tai Kamiya and his Vigermon set off on a journey to save the world. Like, that sounds sick. And then we have the brand new Digimon Dreamers, which came out in 2021. Uh, top right over there. Uh, Pulsamon and Ritsu Koto embark on a comedic search for Digivolutions. So this is more of a comedy manga, while this is kind of an adventure action manga. And then, of course, we have the anime, which 1999's Digimon Adventure. Eight children meet their partners in a grand adventure across the digital world. And then we go ahead and go on to Digimon Ghost Game. In 2021, Hiro and Gamamon face down the mysterious hologram ghosts. So, uh, Ghost Game is pretty good. To me, it got a little boring, so I stopped watching. But maybe I'll try to catch up. Uh, then we get to the games. In 2015, we had Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth, a great game that I loved. Um... Become a cyber sleuth, cracking cases along your Digimon. And then in 2022, we had Digimon Survive, another excellent game. It's a journey to survive in another world where life and death coexist. There's so many endings to Digimon Survive, and I have not gotten them all because it is a time sink. And I, I like novels, graphic novels, or what they're called, but they just take up so much of my time where it is impossible for me to do it because I have so much stuff to do at home and at work and stuff like that. Uh, here's a little advert for your Digimon Ghost game. I'm not going to read the whole thing. It's kind of just who these characters are. Um, and then, uh, there's a little blurb about them. If you guys want to pause and check it out, you definitely can. But, um, I'll just go over the characters quick. We have Angoramon, one of my favorites. Really cool. We have Rui, Rui, or Rui. I don't know how to say it. I think it's just Rui. Uh, then we got Gamamon, definitely one of the cutest rookie Digimon out there. Uh, we have Jellymon. And um, her partner, um, uh, Kyoshiro. And then, uh, of course, we have the main character, Hiro, right there. Uh, there's even a little link to, I guess, learn more about it for the QR code. Uh, and here we have um, a little a little advert on what makes Gamamon so adorable. Here's the scoop. Uh, six key cuteness points for Gamamon. There's, of course, um, he's always happy when he's chatting. Um, he has an insatiable sweet tooth that you see throughout the show. That he could just cannot stop eating chocolate. Um, and he's tiny enough to fit in Hero's bag. That is adorable, I will say. Um, his eyes shine when he's happy. And it says, look at that cherubic face. He is very, very gorgeous and cute, like a little baby. Um, and when, he, when he's unhappy, you can just tell because he's a little baby. And um, when he gets serious, he's not all cute. There's, of course, Betel Gamamon. Kaos Gamamon and um, Wizen Gamamon, and then they go on to become the super cool uh, Kano Huisman, which I think is a really sick evolution for him. And I think he becomes Regulusmon? I don't remember the name. Um, but of course, it then shows us some breakdowns of episodes, the spooky case profile up here. Um, it shows us the file one, murder shrouded in mystery. Um, the lives of these Digimon are being taken, and it turns out that a Steel Dramon was killing everyone. Um, then we have one where the psychopathic Spider Woman, it's file two. It was actually Arukenimon who was doing all the, the brain sucking or whatever, if I remember right from the episode. 
Um, then we have file three up here. Time stealing, sewn lip man. It's Clockmon. Uh, the pumpkin kidnapper. That was actually pumpkin mon. And then we actually go over here and we have mischievous ghost child and it's mon mon a little monkey with a slingshot who is um hurting people um the show's really messed up uh it's very much body horror it's pretty good though and then we have a giant giant advert for the vital hero which is the american version of the vb um i don't think i'd recommend this from what i've heard it's an older version or it's this one and there's a brand new version of the vb i don't remember what it's called since i don't have that one i have this one specifically the japanese one not the vital hero as you can see over here oh this is japan this is overseas so this would be us this would be america i think you know what i don't know but um yeah but these are all the dim cards you can get you like stick them in like an sd card and um you basically get a full evolution line that you can see right here. So like for instance, you could have an Agumon one, a Gabumon one, Gamamon. I completed my Gamamon one. Lately they changed the app. Uh, I don't know if this was the right app, but they completely changed it and it like deleted everything and it was really hard to transfer Digimon over. So that got me kind of angry. Uh, let's just go to the next one. Oh, beautiful. Digimon card game. What a fun card game this is. Uh, I've played it with my friends a few times. I even have this little Agumon right here from this big pack because I thought it'd be awesome if I got that. Um, but the card game, really beautiful art. Uh, if you guys could see right here, they're really well detailed and they all look so good. Um, maybe one day if I have some cash, I'll buy a booster box of an older set or a newer set and I'll open it for you guys. Let me know in the comments if you'd like to see that. It is definitely something I'm interested in because I'd love to expand to more Digimon content and I'd love to just get more cards because I really want to build a deck and maybe go play in tournaments or something like that. I think that'd be pretty dope. Okay, I think we're approaching the last page. Yep, I think we are. Yeah, we are. Okay, but here's another big advert for Digimon Survive. Your choices will Digivolve the Digimon, which isn't necessarily true. Um... The game has the illusion of choice, kind of, not for story, but for the Digimon, because for these guys, the, the, the side characters, they have like two evolution lines, and they change if you do different things. Uh, and then we have a bunch of premium Bandai stuff with some figureized standards, some anime heroes figs, and NX Edge style, which um, they look cool, but they're really tiny. Um, I think I have that. Of These are... um. Yeah, these are like Gunpla. I have this um, Metal Greymon. Uh, actually, I'll be right back. So, right here is the the figure, the Metal Greymon Gunpla I built. Uh, I don't know how to hold this right to show you guys. Um, this little horn right here broke off, so I had to Gorilla Glue it. Um, it's really sick. I don't want to mess it up anymore because I did kind of break it at one point because of that little horn he has. And then um, this is the little Agumon I was talking about. He's very tiny, um, very cute. I think you use this as a memory counter on the card game. Um, but it's really awesome and really super fucking adorable. Don't you guys think? <laughs> but I think um, oh, I broke it again. That's sad. But um, that's it. On the back we have some other Shonen properties. Um, I think that's just another V jump. This one talking about Demon Slayer and Yu-Gi-Oh! And then this one talking about Dragon Ball, Spike's Family, and I think that's the Digimon Dreamers manga, which has some very funny panels right there. I guess it is a comedy manga. But, um, I think that about wraps it up for our little thing here. I guess I'll get my thoughts. I thought, um, overall this thing was really sick. Um, it made sense. Uh, it's kind of just like a little advert magazine if you really think about it. Um, look, he's missing his wing. It fell off. Um, it's a little advert magazine, and I thought it was really cute. It did its job. It got me more interested in Digimon. And hopefully if I get my hands on a 2023 one, I'll uh, look at it for you guys. Um, yeah, but overall, thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you in the outro. Bye-bye. Well, we're at the end now. Thank you guys so much for watching and enjoying the video. 
of me looking at the Digimon guidebook from 2022. I know it's not the latest one, but I hope you guys really enjoyed it. I know I had fun reading it out for you guys and really just showing it off. Uh, overall, I hope you guys just keep enjoying all this new content. Keep subscribing, keep liking, commenting, all those things. It really means the world to me. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. But I think it's time to say goodbye. Goons out.